do subscribers matter still? The answer I would say is like, no. You gotta just press record. Yeah, I think when it comes to YouTube changing just the over, like the thing that I've seen them do every change, it's to benefit the viewer because YouTube, they're helping creators, but ultimately we don't do this without you guys watching, without, mm -hmm. without people listening. Like they want the viewer to have the best experience possible. And so I think as content creators, if we can put that into our heads of how can this video help the viewer and, and literally just obsess over the person who's going to watch that video, um, you're going to be changing your content with YouTube. And I think it's going to benefit you and help you get more views. It's going to help uh, people watching your videos For to sure. just enjoy it more. And so uh, even chapters, you know, we're talking about changes. Chapters are uh, you know, new ish thing that ha has come and a lot of people are using them more and now automatic chapters are happening. And so they, they really just want to make it very easy for viewers to find the exact thing they're looking for in that video. For sure. And we like to say it here, I think media, the creator who understands the viewer yeah. best wins. And speaking of, um, audience mm -hmm. and it being about viewers, I think that le lends itself to the next topic. And that is do subscribers mm -hmm. matter still? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's funny. It's like, um, th th another question to ask yourself is like, can anyone make it on YouTube anymore? Like, do you need subscribers? If you have subscribers, does that help you? And the answer I would say is like, no, it doesn't really matter how many subscribers you have on YouTube right now. And this is really cool. And this should be really encouraging for anyone out there who is, um, at zero subscribers at a hundred subscribers. Even if you've been posting videos, like right now you have the opportunity to, I mean, you just shared with me a guy who first upload first basically upload. went viral. Like what was, what yeah. video was that? So there is this guy who posted a video and it was a, a pastor who, uh, his title was like, I, I, I was a pastor and I, I left the church to do this or something like that. Very, uh, you know, intriguing. Attention time. grabbing, controversial. It made like, me want to click it based exactly. off of what I like. And it was served to me. And I asked a lot of people in my world, did you watch it? And they were yeah. like, dude, I saw that video too. Like, and this guy in three yeah. weeks got 280,000 views on a video that for the most part, I had a pretty basic thumbnail, powerful, but basic yeah. uh, and a very basic title, no tags. The description was pretty empty as far as I know. And it, it, it showed a lot. It showed that YouTube can have a funny way of putting somebody out there. Um, and who knows what his plans are? Like now I'm looking forward to, you know, what he's going to be posting now, but he had zero subscribers and YouTube right. pushed his video, which just tells me that there is opportunity on YouTube. If you feel like YouTube is crowded, your first video could be amazing. I mean, your 10th video might be amazing, but I think the, the case study of this guy, his name is John Nagan or John yeah. Gan. Uh, was definitely super interesting. We talked about it uh, a couple days ago, and then we just checked again, and his videos doubled, and right. the views doubled, which is insane. Right.